In 1993, the NFL announced that Charlotte would receive an NFL franchise. Bank of America Stadium, although not called that at the time, was completed for the start of the 1996 season. Welcome to Charlotte. Tom Hammond here, and beside me, Chris Collinsworth. Glad you're with us. We should be in for a good one. Chicago squares off against Carolina. The rain was really coming down earlier, and it's expected to continue during the game. Hopefully things don't get too sloppy. And we're set to go. We'd like to let you know that this game is brought to you by Snickers. At the 30. Hit and drop at the 44-yard line. That return will set the offense up nicely. They did an outstanding job blocking for the returner, and he repaid their efforts with a huge game. moving. Got it off barely. And he's dropped as soon as he makes the catch. And when you're trying to catch those high hard ones, you just don't know what's going to happen to your body. I tell you, you haven't lived until you've caught one of those and had one of those clowns flip you upside down. He tries to scramble. Passive. He makes another catch. What happened there, Chris? Well, they got caught in man-to-man -man coverage on that play, and I couldn't tell if the defender slipped a little bit or not. Maybe he just got beat on the play. Williams takes the give. Gains his way to the seven-yard line before he's dropped by a host of tackles. Now you're getting close. Run this play and get it even closer. Let's go do this. Let's get it done. Go, baby. He's hammered in the backfield. The time the offensive line just didn't get any push there. They've got to do a better job knocking those guys off the line of scrimmage. Scrambles, passes to the end zone. Lucian Muhammad has it for the touchdown. The Carolina Panthers end the drive the best way possible. Took them five plays to cover 55 yards. Lucian Muhammad has so much ability and he's well utilized really in this offense. He's a hard receiver to cover and there's really a certain toughness about him. He's going to fight you for position and for the ball. He's tackled at the 31. Let's see what they do with the play calling here. The last thing you can afford to have happen right now after that big drive is to go three and out. He rolls out to the right. Just gets that one away. Chris Gamble was there to bring him down. Good defense all over the field that time. They had the deep routes covered, and when they tried to dump it off to the tight end, they were on it. They'll give it off here. 
He makes his way to about the 45. Thomas Davis makes the tackle. They give it to the tailback. Brayton will tackle him for a loss at the 43. Yeah, great defense at the point of attack, but also very impressive, the pursuit to the ball. They were all coming there. Again with the carry. Forte picks up a yard on the play. Give this one a shot if you want to defend against a quarterback scramble while playing good zone coverage in the secondary. Short throw to the left. The stop was made by Richard Marshall. Very strange looking play on third down. I don't know how you decide to make that throw when you know you need more yardage than that for a first down. And they will down it at the two. The Panthers start this drive in field goal range and they'll look to get the same result as their last drive, a touchdown. Here's the give. He makes his way to about the 12 before he's hit and dropped. D'Angelo Williams does as good a job as anybody out there. If it's a small hole, he finds a way to get through it. If it's a big hole, you see an explosion. Gets away. The pass is away. Agunliade is there on the tackle. Yeah, he scored a few style points with that one, but more importantly, they pick up the first down. Still moving. Passes it. Deflected and broken up. Second down for the offense after that incomplete pass. Now he's scrambling. Here's the throw. He leads. It's caught. Boy, that's just a special play right there. You see these great athletes on occasion. The ball's thrown up, and it's just a jump ball, go get it kind of situation. And he went up and made a great play there. Those are the kind that quarterbacks don't soon forget. He tries to scramble. Incomplete pass. King was his intended target. The Panthers will take their first time out of the half. They hand it off again. The stop was made by Dvorakic. Those are money yards right there. Just a couple of yards on the game. But anytime you look up and they're moving the change, you know you've done your job. Another run. At the 30. And they finally get him to the ground at the 24-yard line. What a run that was. I really thought he might be gone there, but they were finally able to chase him down. Look to run this one off tackle. Send your guy to the outside and see if they'll give him some room to work with. Williams takes it right side. Tino Isamoa is there on the tackle. They get six there, and that will bring up second down. This is the ninth play of this drive. They'll give it off here. Erlocker will tackle him for a loss at the 19-yard line. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Here we go. 
He scrambles away. Dumps it out left. Comes down with it. Lance Briggs makes the tackle. Smith makes his third grab. He scrambles around. Incomplete turnover on downs. Jake DeLome takes a lot of pride in his precision as a thrower. He's one of the most accurate passers in the game, so seeing him under throw a ball like that is pretty rare. Pitch left. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. Forte gains about four yards on the play. Short throw. Pass is complete. The stop was made by Godfrey. This is a defense you might want to go with to make sure you have someone accounting for the quarterback. The spy will be responsible for watching the quarterback while everyone else plays man coverage behind him. He's dragged down on the play. I really like what they did that time. Nice job by the Panthers. Second and long situation now following the sack. Throws it. Makes the catch. Tackle was made by John Beeson. Yeah, really not much a defense can do when you get a guy that can throw the football like that. You know, you get yourselves in position defensively. You think you're in the right spot. You're going to make a play. And a guy makes a throw like that and you go, hey, that's a good throw. Throws it out. The stop was made by Diggs. He gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did. And when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. Cutler drops it. Davis recovers the loose ball. That's the game's first turnover. All you need to do here is run some clock. Run the football up the middle. Here's the give. He's still going. Four-yard gain. That brings up second down. They hand it off. The tackle was made by Erlocker. A gain of three yards. And that makes it third down. I told you. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. Gets away. Going deep with this one. That incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Chris, that was a pretty nice defensive stand. Yeah, they just kind of looked out of sync from the very beginning there, and I thought first down really set the tone for that entire series. Hands it to the back. Stop short. And when the defense gets that kind of penetration, it just disrupts everything for an offense. They have to get that guy blocked. Gets the pass off. He goes up high for the catch. It looks like he was able to bring it down inbounds. They'll discuss it. Really nice effort along that sideline. What a great example of body control and little finesse. Cutler will hand it off. The stop was made by Brayton. Matt Forte was simply sensational, breaking the Bears' rookie record for yards from scrimmage, and they've had some pretty good running backs there in Chicago. Now the question is, can he follow it up with another great season? Gets the ball away. Marshall intercepts it. He can't bring him down. 
You know, some of these corners are just freakish athletes right now. Oftentimes, they're the best athletes on the field. Maybe they don't have the skill set, great hands, great moves, whatever, but they are definitely among the fastest in the NFL. Now he's scrambling, gets the pass away. Right through his hands, he almost had the pick. Nathan Bashert was defending on the play. Keep this to the inside. You just need to run that clock down. Williams gets the carry. Tackle was made by Payne. There's no question that D'Angelo Williams has become one of the stars of the National Football League. You look at his yards per carry average over the past several years. He is very consistently up over that five yards per carry average, and that is simply dynamic. He scrambles away, throws it. Erlocker picks it off. There you see the kind of overall skills that makes this guy special. Not only can he blitz and play the run, he can get back in coverage too. And we'll probably see how far he can throw here, as this should be the last play before the half. Throws just as the pressure gets there. Godfrey gets the pick. And that was the second time he's been picked off this half. Well, we're going to find out how mentally tough this quarterback is because when you get off to a shaky start like that, sometimes it's tough to piece everything back together again. He scrambles around. Rolling right. Tips it away. We'll take you to the studio now for halftime. Thanks, Tom. We hope everyone is enjoying the game so far. We'll get you straight to the highlights. Enjoy. run in the first half favored Carolina. Williams has rushed for over 75 yards. Carolina is on top, 7-0. We'll send you back to your game now. Welcome back to Bank of America Stadium. the 40 across midfield at the 40 at the 30 to the 10 and he will score what a return oh man was that guy flying or what he just found a lane and went bowling Robbie Gold adds the extra point let's take a look at the sprint drive summary He'll take it from the two. 
He brings it back to the 23. Make sure that you take advantage of your best receiver out there. He's one of those guys who can force the defense to double. And when they do, that'll open other things up for you. Still moving. Passes it out. Drops the easy pass. Hey, baby. Steve Smith was the, the, the intended receiver on the play. Pass rush almost got there that time, and uh, he has to feel a little lucky that that ball just fell harmlessly to the turf. Now he's scrambling. Gets the pass away. Leaping catch. And he went way up to snag that one. That was a pretty catch. He's running out of time. When you get that kind of pressure, a lot of times the play will result in something worse than just an incompletion. Changing table stickers are placed on doors of the corresponding restaurant. They tackle him for a loss. You, know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want. But ultimately, this game comes down to one big man against another big man, and that time the defense's big men, they won the battle. He tries to scramble. Gets the pass out. There for the catch. Receivers who can make plays like that on third down tend to have nice, long careers. They hand it off again. Dvorak makes the tackle. Those big guys up front, they just keep pushing the defense back. At some point, now you're going to have to do something to try and stop those running lanes. But then look out. The passing is going to be wide open. Hands it to the back. The stop was made by Tommy Harris. And that's why you send all those guys to plug up the holes and... That time, there were no holes, really, and he was lucky to get anything on the play. This is the ninth play of this drive. DeLome hands it off straight ahead. D'Angelo Williams gets a nice gain of about five yards, and that'll be good for a first down. They line up at the 37. He gets another carry. Looked like someone got caught holding. Here's the official call. Holding offense. Repeat, first down. Well, you have to go with a long pass here. So go with the hard count. And if they don't bite, make sure you get the first down. Someone jumped early down there. False start. Offense. Repeat. First down. Go for the long pass. See if you can beat him deep. He scrambles away. Here's the pass. Tackled around the 32-yard line by Nathan Basher. He's there for the catch once again. That's number two on this offensive possession. Yeah, you hear all the time about quarterbacks getting into a rhythm, but sometimes a quarterback and a receiver can get into a rhythm where the quarterback begins to look to one guy a little bit more because he feels more comfortable, and I think that's beginning to happen now. And this is the 12th play of the drive. He scrambles around. 
McBride was there to bring him down. The Panthers have been very sharp on this drive. They've got a good thing going, and the defense doesn't look like they can stop them. Still moving. Basher has it. They don't see this type of corner blitz scheme too often. They may be able to catch them off guard here. Passes the ball. Brings it in. And there you see just a little bit of how tremendous these athletes are in the NFL. The ability to go up above the defense and make a play like that, that was fun to watch. Brought down behind the line. Well, that's what happens when defensively you get every gap covered. There is simply nowhere to go with the football. No chance for the running back that time. The Bears have the ball as we begin the fourth quarter, all knotted up. Throws it short. Is there for the catch. Cuts back, and he's dropped. Desmond Clark makes his third catch of the game. Hit as he passes. The stop was made by Chris Harris. The Bears are having some success getting the ball down the field on this drive. This offense is clicking. Passes. Tight coverage, and it's picked off. Good day for the Carolina Panthers defensively, their third pick of the day, and that's impressive when you consider that last season they only had 12 as a team and nobody had more than three. Oh. Be patient. you got to make sure that you wait for your blockers to set up this one. Don't try and do it all on your own. Hands it off. Pretty impressive stuff. As a back, you have to just keep slamming it in there, believing that hole is going to be there eventually. That time it was, and he took advantage. They'll keep it on the ground again. Tino Isamoa is there on the tackle. Williams gets eight yards on the play. Two yards away here on second down. Oh, nice, nice, nice. You ready to run? Uh, his turn, baby. Williams on the run. Not sure if he reached it. They'll measure. This is what we made on right here. He got it. Short little run, but they didn't need much on that one. They decided to just go ahead and pick up the first down. Again, he'll get the call. Still working. Williams gains about five yards on the run. The key here is to step up into the pocket. Make sure you get those feet set before you throw it. The pass is away. Wayne Jarrett was the intended receiver. He's one of those quarterbacks who trusts his arm maybe a little bit too much. He should have never thrown that ball. Just gets it off. Makes a cut. And he will be hit and dropped. You can't make any mistakes down here. So run the ball and just get it in there. Feeds it to the back. 
Williams gets about four yards on the play. Okay, now you're close. Get even closer with this pass. Here's the halfback. Williams was there to bring him down. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Time to give it to your halfback. Tell him to look for a hole to open up inside. Hands it to the back. Won't be stopped. Too close to call. Here comes the chain gang. They're just inches short. The defense calls a timeout, and they've got two remaining. They line up at the four. Williams gets another carry. That's a clutch touchdown to get the lead, but there's still some time left on that clock. And as we see so often in the NFL, this game is going to come down to that final drive. It's good. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. Sheds one tackler. The Bears are hoping to push this game into overtime. It won't be easy, but the one advantage they will have is that it is four down territory, obviously, throughout this drive. Short throw to the right. He's there for the catch. The tackle was made by Davis. Clark is able to make his fourth reception. Pressure gets there, and he puts it on the ground. Carolina will have the football. What a tremendous play by the defense. You really began to get the feeling this offense was getting something going. They strip the football out of there and kill the drive, kill the momentum. Good job, good job. Here we go now. Feeds it to the back. Bullocks was there on the tackle. Williams picks up about four yards on the play. Second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 17. Now he's scrambling. Passes it. And it's completed. Great play, and the Panthers will have first and goal. Muhammad makes his third grab. Carolina is trying to make this a two-score game. It's the tailback. What a big-time score right there. Well, defensively, they just simply had to make a stand, and they could not. And the point after is good. Here's your sprint drive summary. Hit and drop at the 30. At this point, I think this game looks like it's pretty much out of reach. Well, it's only a two-possession game, so these guys are not going to give up. They need a score, an onside kick, a score, an onside kick, no, whatever this is. <laughs> they need a lot of good things to happen right here. And he caught it. Drop behind the line. Forte makes his third catch of the game. Rolls right. And the defense might have just given them five yards. Right 
He's going to have to look somewhere else if you double cover on this receiver. And I don't think their options out there are good enough to consistently beat you. Dumps it out right. The stop was made by Davis. Just a simple throw and catch for a gain of six. That's just the kind of passing play that this offense is built around. Short throw to the left. Clark makes it five catches for the game. Looks like they're going to go for it here on fourth down. Jones on the handoff. Kevin Jones gets a nice gain of about five yards, and that'll be good for a first down. It's a fake. The tackle was made by Marshall. Good job all the way around by the defense that time. Not only did they have the deep routes completely covered there, but they also had the check down well within their grasp. That's all from Bank of America Stadium. Our post-game wrap-up is next. Our final score is the Panthers 21, the Bears 7. This was more of a defensive battle and it turned into a relatively easy win. For Chris Collinsworth, this is Tom Hammond saying goodbye and thanks for tuning in. has been a presentation of EA Sports and Madden NFL 10.